Hello and welcome to iTanet. In today's video, we are going to look at how to purchase Prismen Checker using MTM Mobile Money. To purchase SHS Prismen Checker using MTM Mobile Money. But before I do that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more of these videos. And if you are also old here, thank you for supporting and watching my videos. Now let's go straight to how to purchase SHS Prismen Checker using MTM Mobile Money. To Purchase MTM Prisman Checker using MTM Mobile Money. Story dash star 920 star 96 ash. So you use your MTN. So now you receive this particular message after dialing star. After dialing star 920, star 96 hash, welcome to Prisman Checker. Enter the quantity you want to buy. So here you're going to enter the quantity. I just want to buy one checker. So I enter one. Now you wait for it to load. Now this is the message. You will get a prompt, a payment prompt to authorize it. So you will get a payment prompt. And if this is taking a longer period for example anytime i try it takes a longer period you can dash star 170 hash to continue again go to my wallet go to your wallet and check your approvals so what we have to do is that we have to go to our wallet so we go to our wallet and uh, so when we go to our wallet, then we have to check our approvals. So we go to our wallet. Now you will see that we have a my approvals option three. So you have to select that my approvals option three. So you have to select that my approvals. You enter that. That's option three. Then you press on send press on send now you see that you have enter your pin to get uh your pending approval list. so what we have to do is that we have to enter our pin i'll cover this particular pin for security reasons so you enter your pin now you see that we have this message select to approve your pending transaction debit balance files initiated by so what we have to do is that we have to press one two accept it then we we press one again so now we have made the payment and what we have to do is that we have to wait for the message from them uh, indicating that we have actually purchased our pin the message to confirm our purchase now i've received message from cssps so this is the message and you see that i have the message here from cssps and i have my pin u y u v d f so this is the pin so i received the message from the cssps and this is my pin so i can use this particular one to check my results and you when you buy one particular pin you can use it to check so many of your results so this is my pin and i can use it to check so many of my results so now i can use this one to check my result and if you don't know how to check your result i have a video which will show you how to check your result at the end of this video you see that on the screen and if you are also new to the channel please subscribe to the channel tell me in the comment box below if this particular video is helpful to you tell the ghana education service has released the results for the SHS Prisman 2021 and in today's video I'm going to show you how to check your Prisman. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel, like and share the video. Please watch the video to the end because at the end of this video I'm going to show you how to retrieve your lost Prisman card. Now to check your Prisman, SHS Prisman, you need two things. You need your index number and Prisman card. If you don't know how to purchase a prisman card there is a video there is one of my videos showing you how to purchase a prisman card you can click on that video on top of this link 
and it will show you how to purchase a placement card. Now let's go straight to how to check your SHS placement. So to check your SHS placement, you have to visit www.ssps. So you have SSPS. .gov.da. So this is the address. You see that I have the address here. It's ssps.gov.da, and I will leave a link down in the description of this video. You can follow that link to check your placement. So you go to the website, and when you come to the website, this is the home page of the SSPS. So here you have check placement, uh, retrieve e voucher, and you have address. So here we are going to check our placement. So we will click on check placement. Now, to check your placement here, you need to enter your index number and your e voucher. So, I already have my e voucher and my index number here. For some security reasons, I'm going to cover the index number. And uh, I'm going to cover the index number for some security reasons. So, you just have to enter your index number. So, here you will enter your index number. I have it covered because uh, I don't have the authorization to show this particular index number so i have my index number so you make sure that you enter your index number but let me show you this you can enter your index number for example uh, let's assume that your index number is 0522 so the index number is 10 digits so you enter your 10 digit index number and you end it by the year that you completed you completed 2020 so we end it by 2020 we are checking results for BEC candidate of 2020 and in the future if you are checking for 2021 2022 or 2023 you just have to change the year which is 2020 to 2021 or 2022 or 2023 so I'm going to paste uh, my index number here and I have it covered because I don't want it to show so I enter my index number so that's my index number and I also enter my my pin and i'm going to have the pin also covered so i'm going to enter my pin also so when you enter your pin then you click on proceed now this is the result so you see that we have the placement here we have the result here this is the particular result you see that we have general ass and the school that the students selected now in case you check and you did not find your placement it means that you have to do self placement and I'm going to do video to show you how to uh, praise yourself, how to praise yourself directly on the system if you did not get that. self placement actually means that all the school that you choose you do not get so you have to uh, select for uh, self placement. I will show you that. So after getting to this particular place, you click on print placement form and you need to also print enrollment form. So you need to print the, these two. So you click on print placement form so the print preview will show then you click on print so if you need one page you click on print to print it and you have to also make sure that you also paint your enrollment form so so that you take this to your headmaster for endorsement and for them to also check for you thank you very much for watching this video up to this particular stage and as i told you in the beginning i'm going to show you how to also retrieve your loss uh, your loss e voucher so for this particular one let me show it here. so let's go to the home page now if you want to retrieve your e voucher this is the home page of the cssps so you see that we have retrieve e voucher so when you come here if you have already purchased your e voucher you can retrieve it this will actually work for people who have purchased their e voucher so when you come here what you have to do is that you have to enter your index number followed by the year that you completed so i'm going to enter my index number here I'm going to enter my index number so for example I have my index number here and I also have it covered because I don't have the authorization to also show my index number so what I have to do is enter my index number here click on proceed so when I click on proceed you will see that uh, my index number will show so now this is my e voucher you see that I have my e voucher so I can get my e voucher you understand I can also get my e voucher so this is your e-voucher, I can also get it. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. If this video is helpful to you, let me hear you in the comment box below. Thank you for watching this particular video and bye for now.